ัสดีค่ะ The AEC allows for lower trade tariffs and the exchange of labor between member states. It also provides a single block for foreign investors interested in investing in ASEAN. We are joined by two distinguished guests to provide us with some expert insight into what the AEC entails. If we are the one unit of AEC, we will from, from have the competitive advantage to EU to uh, USA to uh, the, the the other group. I think for us, this is our commitment as an Asian country. We are one Asian. If we don't uh, have the con- the concept like this, we will. We will not go to go to the objective of the AEC. That's why we believe there will be many movement, the tourism, a business, and also employee. The big problem that is the uh, barrier of the language, because we use uh, many many languages in the AEC. And now it's very become popular for Thailand to learn Indonesian. Yeah, I think many many Asian country will try to learn Indonesian now. Mr. Basuki not only made this a recommendation, it is now on the cusp of being written into law. All foreigners who want to work legally in Indonesia must first pass a language proficiency exam. If the Indonesia or Thailand go backward to do that language management, that it should pass the Thai language proficiency before come to work in Thailand. It's, it's, I think it's, it's not the solution for the AEC. Ultra-nationalist policy makers who champion protectionist trade policies may have to reconsider their position or find themselves at odds with the established ASEAN Charter, relating to the formation of the AEC. That's it for this week. I'm Mike. And I am Nin. See you next week on ASEAN Checklist. สวัสดีค่ะ